hi everyone so let's get started with the formic in this video so we will go through step by step there are many different ways to use formic with your react component first we are taking a look at formic component how to introduce formic component in your react component for writing forms and how to use react react formic form tag okay so let's get started here we will write start writing our component okay so what i have done is i have imported formic from the formic library so what you need to do you just need to install npm install minus minus save formic so this dependency will get added in your package.json this is step one after that you can start writing your code so like how we write our html form with simple we write form tag first we will just write our html form and then we will change it to formic okay on submit we have we will write our on submit method and this is a form this will have a wrapper okay inside this form we are going to write our input text fields okay like input type text simple one field we can have input type text okay and we will have all these different methods on change okay on blur and value of this text field we will drive from let's say from state somewhere okay and name for this text field is name and placeholder is enter name okay this is input text field now what all different things we have like different dom events we have on change on blur and the value how we are getting the value is it a controlled component or a normal component right so this value either we are getting from the state so if you are writing a plain simple component then we just what we do is we write uh, simple hooks use state or use effect hooks and we start writing the components okay but in this case we are writing the code with the formic so first of all let's introduce formic in our code so let's uh, add formic tag here so this is our formic tag and formic tag actually provide us different options so what we can do is initial values initialize values which you wanted to have in your code in your form like i wanted to have a name value which is initialized with empty okay after that we have other options like on submit method you can handle here in on submit this is a kind of a dom event we have so we can write that method so this is our on submit method now we will have a render and this render property only will render this form which we are looking at okay so render and we will have a it's like renderer props and this will render our form which we have written so this is html form okay so here we are closing our formic tag yeah this is now complete so you see all these are actually the formic properties initial values on submit and render this is the render method is helping us to render this form initial values is helping us to initialize the form properties like i have a name so now how do i access all these on submit initial values all these properties first i'm getting props so what i can do is for the handle change on change what i can do is props dot handle change okay for blur i have another method which is which i'm getting from props handle blur so this is the react uh, this is the formic uh, inbuilt methods i am accessing and here i am accessing props dot values inside values i am accessing name you can see here i have uh, initial values so these properties i can access using props dot values dot name and the name property and placeholder other things are same so this is the input text field i have created in the form and finally we have on submit method which i can access using props dot props dot handle submit okay these are predefined methods you see handle submit handle change handle blur so you haven't defined them here 
these are defined in the formic itself like initial values on submit similarly we also have something like validate validate also you can access write a function like this and you do some kind of a validation currently we don't we are not doing it so let's remove it for now so we have bootstrap the form with the initial values name and i'm able to access that name here and i do have a button in the last so what that button is doing that button should be able to just submit the form okay so here after input text field we can create one button and button it the type of the button is submit so when you click on it the form will be submitted okay and here i can just write submit so this will be available on the button now this form i have created let's see we are getting some error on this name property so it should be a json object now everything is good here we can see our form this button we can put i mean just a styling and all we can actually put that inside there can be a input class we can have after this input so let's try to just customize it a little bit here i have a div tag and then i have a form tag here okay simple i will just format this so that it can look better okay now you see we are using formic component and we are doing a lot of things on submit method we will see what we can get from the form how to capture the values here we have initialized the values and this is what we are rendering from the formic component so this is our form look like now when you submit it you should be able to get the values here in the on submit so how should we get it we have in the on submit method we have two properties values and actions values and this is actions these are predefined and from the values we can actually get what all properties you are submitting so let's try to do function dot log values and we can write a timeout set timeout what set timeout will do is it will just reset the form once you have submitted it after some time so we can just say after one second just log the all the values okay and just set timeout and reset it so json dot stringify all the values and set submitting so this is inbuilt inbuilt property set submitting it will make it false so after one second the form has been submitted now and we are making that form submission false now and resetting the form here we can use uh, one more property is disabled property to disable the submit button when the form is being submitted so disabled here what i can do is props dot it's submitting this is the property which formic is providing so whenever the form is getting submitted this button will be disabled so user will not be able to click on it multiple times now if we just try to see this we got this object after one second and the form is also the submit button is also disabled you can see so this is the formic first form we have created right and we are using formic component we are creating formic as creating this is creating a wrapper and in the render function we are actually rendering the html form this is pre i mean this is a plain html form on the on submit on change on blur values name we are accessing the props which are which we are getting from the formic props dot handle change similarly we can add other fields also input this is the name other can be a password okay here we can have another div tag and we can repeat this div tag here for this field okay this is input type tags same just property need to be changed like name property here it can be password okay it is type is password and enter password the only difference how formic will identify both these input text will based on the name and id properties here the name is name here the name is password okay let's format this 
and now we can see both the values now so here is a name I, I have already initialized similarly I can initialize password also with the empty value and I'm just getting both the properties right we will also write this validate function which will do the validation and will return the error object okay now we can see both are coming now okay here uh, we actually provided name it should be password prof.values.password right so now this the username and password both are coming and form is submitted is false so we have included the form component and created a form this is the first video now in the next video let's add the validation and we will also change this form implementation because we have to write a lot of methods can we use the formic provided form component so that we have to write less number of lines of code okay thanks everyone